guys and welcome back to my channel so happy Diwali to everyone that is celebrating so since Diwali is all about light brightness and color I thought I would create this very vibrant makeup look for you all and it also complements my very bright um, and ugly so if you want to see how I created this look then please keep on watching Okay, so first I'm going to start off by priming my face using my Professional Primer by Benefit. And I'm just going to apply that all over my face. Next for my foundation, I'm going to be using my Illamasqua Skin Base Foundation in the shade SB13. And I'm just blending that in using a damp beauty blender. So for my concealer today, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Anti-Age Eraser Eye Concealer in the shade Nude. And I'm just going to apply that on my under eye area. My forehead. My chin. Bridge of my nose as well. And just underneath where my contour will go. Doing this really helps the contour to pop and I'm just going to blend that out using my damp beauty blender. Okay, so next I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm just setting all the areas that I've highlighted using the shade Banana. For contour, I'm going to be using this Body Shop Darkening Shade Adjusting Drop. So first I'm going in and contouring the hollows of my cheeks, my forehead, my nose, and also just underneath my lip and in between my cupid's bow too. This is actually meant for darkening up foundation, which I think is such a genius idea but I'm using it to contour today. And I'm also just applying some on my jawline as well. And now I'm just gonna blend that in using my damp beauty blender. And what I love about this product is because it's a cool tone brown, it really makes the contours on your face look realistic because shadows are actually supposed to be a kind of greyish tone so this just makes it look even more realistic and I know that it also comes in the lightening shade as well and I think it's such a genius idea like why hasn't anyone come up with it before I wonder Next, using this Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Balm Cosmetics, I'm just going ahead and setting all the areas that I've just contoured. Okay, so now for my eyebrows, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Soft Brown, and I'm just going ahead and defining my eyebrows. First I'm just going to brush my brow hairs up in directions that I want them to be in. I do actually use the dark brown brow wiz but today I feel like going a little bit lighter on my brows. But if you do want to see my usual eyebrow routine then I will link it in the description box below so don't forget to check that out. Next I'm going ahead and setting my eyebrows using my L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper and this will just make sure that my eyebrows don't fly away anywhere. Okay so next using my MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Palette I'm just using the shade NC42 and I'm just carving out and cleaning up my brows. And this will just make them appear more lifted. And it also just helps to keep everything nice and neat. Next I'm using my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base and I'm just priming my eyes. 
and this product is amazing if you have oily eyelids like I do it really really helps the eyeshadows to stick and they won't budge like seriously they don't move anywhere throughout the whole day now I'm just going in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm applying that all over my eyelids and this will help the eyeshadows to really stick. And I'm just using my ring finger just to apply this. You do have to work very quickly with this product because it dries very quickly. Next I'm applying the shade Bitten from my Vice 4 palette. So I'm just going ahead with a fluffy crease brush. Because my eyes are hooded, I like to apply the eyeshadow just above my crease area just because this makes the eyelids appear larger. And I'm just really blending that in. Now this shade will act as our transition colour. Now I have pops of oranges and pinks on my Anagoli so I want to incorporate this into my makeup look so I'm using Slow Burn from the Urban Decay Electric palette and I'm using a denser crease brush. I'm basically just going a little lower than the transition shade so I'm just literally going in where my crease is. On my wet concealer brush I'm going ahead and applying the shade Flame from my Vice 4 palette and I'm applying that all over my eyelid. And I really think this eyeshadow works best with a wet brush rather than a dry one just because I feel like it picks up the product a lot better and as you can see it's really really pigmented. Next I'm taking my Urban Decay Electric palette again and I'm using a pencil brush to apply chaos on the outer thirds of my eye. Now I'm just going back in with my Sigma Tapered Blending Brush and this one's the E45 Blending Brush and I'm just going in and making sure everything is nice and blended. And I'm kind of winging it out slightly. Now I'm just taking my Inglot AMC Gel Liner in number 77 and I'm going ahead and lining my eyes. And I'm also taking the same gel liner and applying it to my lower lash line. I have brought the eyeliner down slightly low just because I'm going to smoke it out later. And also I've joined my wing to my lower lash line as well. Okay, so now that my eyeliner is done, I'm taking my Morphe M416 detailed brush and I'm taking this shade that we applied in the outer third earlier on and I'm going to be blending that eyeliner out with this colour. And this will make it look really smoky. Now using the same brush, I'm taking the shade Grasshopper from the Vice 4 palette and I'm just applying that onto my lower lash line as well. And now you can see that that's really made my lower lash line pop. So next four lashes, I'm using these Huda Beauty lashes in Samantha. I'm now going ahead and applying my Miss Manga Punky L'Oreal Mascara to my bottom lashes. Next I'm using the bronze shade from my Sleek Contour Palette in Medium and I'm using my Sigma F35 brush and I'm just warming my face up. For my blusher, first I'm going in with Peaches by MAC and then I'm going over top that with Spruce Sheen just because I don't want my blusher to be too matte. And usually what I like to do is apply the blusher on the apples of my cheek and then work it upwards. For my highlighter I'm using my Mary Luminizer by The Balm Cosmetics and I'm just applying that on the high points of my face, so my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, my forehead, and I also like to apply the same highlighter that I used on my cheekbones to my brow bone as well. So I'm just applying that onto my brow bones. I think I've mentioned this before. I just feel like when you use the same highlighter on the cheekbones as well as your brow bones, it just pulls the entire look together and I really like that. And I'm also going to apply the highlighter on my chin and my cupid's bow. 
For my lipstick, first I'm going in and lining my lips with my MAC Lasting Sensation Lip Pencil. I feel like filling in the lip makes the lipstick last a hell of a lot longer. And then I'm just going over top the lip liner with this stunning shade called Flamingo by MAC and it's kind of like a pastel orangey shade. I have literally just showered myself in my MAC Prep and Prime just because I like that dewy glowy look as you probably are aware if you've seen any of my other previous tutorials. Finally, I am just going to set my makeup using my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And this is the final look. I really, really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, then please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, then leave them in the comment section down below. I wish you all a wonderful Diwali and Sal Mubarak, and I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye!